All right, folks, how is Thomas here from Texas Hill Country ADV? Now, uh, I'm going to go over with you today what I pack with me on my BDR with uh, when I'm, it's just all bikes and also what I pack when it's bikes plus a support truck. So, uh, I'm going to try to fly through this pretty quick um, and try to do it under 10 minutes. Uh, a lot of this stuff I'm going to kind of show you along the way how I, how I do it on the budget, I guess if you want to say. Um, you don't have to be a doctor, lawyer, dentist, something like that to be able to afford going on BDR trips. I'm a 22 year old, high, uh, you know, college kid. So, uh, I pay for all these trips, my own money and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, so anyway, let's go through all the stuff and I'll show you kind of along the way how I save money <clears throat> and how I think you can as well. So let's start first with camping stuff. So. I bring these chairs, they're just little foldable chairs. Obviously everybody knows the Tusk chair. It's great, it's definitely more heavy duty than like your typical other Chinese folding chairs on the market. Um, next is my sleeping bag, my cold weather sleeping bag. Uh, for warm weather, I just use a military whoopee. Everybody knows what that is. Um, I don't have it here on the table because it's in the washing machine. But that's what I use when it's hot. It's just military whoopee. It's nice and thin, not too warm. This is my cold weather bag. This goes down to 20 degrees. Um, again, this is at Amazon. It's called Base Sports. Got off Amazon for I think 40 bucks. And I have used this in very cold conditions all the way down to 22 or 19 degrees Celsius with wind chill. And, uh, or 19 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry. With wind chill and it was, uh, I was very warm. I, I, I'm gonna take that back. I wasn't very warm, but I was plenty comfortable to, uh, to be able to sleep all night so it works fine um you don't have to think everything on amazon is too good to be true this this one actually works pretty good uh next is this rocky creek uh cot pad thing whatever you want to call it uh, i got this when i worked at camping world uh they were having a big clearance and i got this for like 20 30 bucks it's a hundred dollar pad so that works out it does pretty good it stays pretty warm in the cold uh, I like it. Nothing to complain. That's just another thing. Look at different department stores besides like your main outdoors like Dick's, Academy, uh, Amazon. So like, look at other places like maybe like uh, Walmart or you know other places that sell camping stuff that aren't big distributors for it. So maybe you can find a clearance deal or something like that. Uh, next is a kind of just standard military tarp, uh, tarp poncho. So that can be good for making tarp shelters. Uh, then I got the Inu travel nest. So it's a hammock with straps and everything all in one thing. Uh, that's nice sometimes when there's a lot of trees and the ground's really rocky. You don't want to sleep on a tent. Uh, next is my Alphine earring pillow. Just a nice inflatable pillow. A bunch of different brands make these. They all look the same. They all work the same. Uh, just whatever one you can find cheapest. Next... Uh, on a real budget, this is probably the tent you're in the buying is the, the Bass Pro Human Coffin. Uh, but, I mean, it works. Don't use it in the cold. You'll wake up soaking wet and freezing to death. But it works. Um, that's my backup, backup tent. Then, uh, this is my main tent. Again, it's just a random Irwin brand. I'm sure you can find, like, the same tent on Amazon under, like, five different brands. I bought this when I was still working at Camping World. Again, I had it on a big clearance, so I got it like $100 off retail price. Um, so, you know, just keep your eye out for deals. Especially if you work somewhere uh, that sells this kind of stuff and you can get an even better deal on it. Uh, next is like kind of just my camping bag. This is really cool. It's from, you can find these at any, uh, any Army surplus store. This is a military... Uh, Mechanics tool bag. Uh, Army uses these. Air Force uses these. Um, we got some stuff in there. Add a little lighters and whatnot. But most of this camp, this cooking equipment and stuff, will go in this bag. Next, I got some face shields for all the dust and stuff you're gonna see. You know, face mask. Uh, just in case you run into some liberals and they freak out. Then I've got some fire plugs. Uh, these are good for making fire. Notepad, nice to have. Uh, knot guide, shows you how to tie all sorts of different knots. Helpful to have when you don't have service and you can't remember how to tie a knot. Uh, national park maps. 
these are screenshots of my entire route through Onyx. All, all of it is in there. Got a file protector. So I got physical maps of the whole route. Next is a little microfiber. I use this to clean out my bowls, dishes, stuff like that at camp. Um, and here I've got MSR uh, pocket rocket stove with an aluminum cup and a titanium cup. And then my coffee dripper goes inside there. And then that all goes together like that. A couple MSR fuel cans that we bring. There's a CSI or GSI uh, pot and pan bowl set. Espit stove so you have a secondary source of heating things up that's not this stove. Um, we got our coffee obviously, black rifle of course. Our backup stove which is a GSI. Um, now if you're heaping up with me. Then we got my camelback. It's obviously my riding helmet here, but uh, then I wear these. Oh, fuck, I can't remember the brand. Oh, these are the Rocky, Rocky SV2s. Um, favorite choice of a lot of the special ops guys. These are great, great boots. Uh, United States Army approved. Um, then I got my Molly 2 Ruck, which I use. Um, and all sorts of different ways you can take off the frame use it as a tail bag on your motorcycle you can just wear the thing and then that way if you dump your bike you can just take your backpack off and pick your bike back up and you don't have to deal with all that weight of your gear uh makes it a little bit more challenging to ride sometimes but it's not that bad as long as you get the tight the pack tight and it's tight to your body and it's not causing you to kind of counterbalance yourself then then you'll be good uh water bottle deodorant uh, magazines for my weapons, uh, comms for me and my car buddy, uh, or me and my buddy in the car, then, uh, and that's for when I'm doing trips with a support vehicle. And I got three portable chargers here I bring, just standard lithium portable chargers, got a whole pile of headlamps, flashlights, a bunch of these free Harbor Freight, um, lanterns, anytime you go on the Harbor Freight, definitely... Look for the coupon typically you can get these for free uh, and you can get these for like five bucks um next you got the good old ten dollar harbor freight hatchet works better than most of the 30 40 dollar amazon hatchets out there and the little rapid pull wood saw make quick work for campfires and a little fuel siphon pump we got our high deet spray then this is this is for in the truck just power inverter then we got our speaker for my navigation on the bike, I use my iPad Mini 6. Uh, it goes in a RAM mount on the dash of my KLR. And that's how we do that. And then over here, we've got our dry bag that we put everything in. So these are nice. These are smaller, like 10 liter dry bags. You can get these with any uh, military surplus. or British or French or something gas mask bags. They're just roll top velcro closure um and they work really nice you can get them for like three to five bucks typically per bag but then these are some amazon dry bags they work really well uh, i think they were like 10 10 12 bucks for the set um so that's good for your dry bag storage then uh, i've got just some heavy duty front and rear tubes and i bring the six pack of mountain house meals just for emergencies and also this 18 pack of cliff bars is my breakfast typically so now some extra stuff i bring when i have the truck with me that's going to be uh just like extra tools so normally i just have this and my other essential toolkit that's on the bike but if i have the truck i'll bring the impacts and all the sockets and all the pliers and pretty much just empty my tool chest into this bin uh that way i have everything in case whatever happens and now i'll typically bring this if we're going somewhere cold this is the buddy heater it's just really nice especially if there's a burn band going on uh and it's cold so you want the fire to stay warm then you can light up this buddy heater just make sure you bring spare propane because it uses a lot um and then obviously i'll bring my some sort of cooler this trip we're just gonna use a little 
Arctic backpack cooler. Um, yeah, and then I use these these totes to kind of store most of the stuff in the truck. That's going to be in the truck to keep it organized. Um, but yeah. So, cool. I got that done in 10 minutes. That's what I bring on a BDR and how I save money doing it. Again, I like for a lot of the, like these lanterns and the lights and hatchet and saws and stuff like that. Harbor Freight all day. You can get a lot of stuff for free there. Uh, and then just look at a lot of military surplus uh, stores and military surplus on eBay is actually a lot cheaper than going into stores um, and you can find a lot of great stuff so uh, for good deals so anyway uh, thank y'all and if you have any questions comment concern leave them in the comments Thanks.